everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out the new foundation from Tarte. This is called the Hydroflex Serum Foundation. Now this retails for $39. You can pick it up on the Tarte website. It's also available at Sephora and Ulta. I will leave all of the links to it in the description box down below. This comes in 32 different shades. I have a lot to say about this foundation. I've been testing it for about four or five days now. So I do know how I feel about it. There are some pros and cons to it, which of course I will get into that in the video. If you guys are new to my channel, my skin type is dry to normal. Up here on the screen is my skin type, my age, what I look for in foundations, what I like in foundations, so that you as the viewer know as I'm reviewing this foundation, what my preferences are. I always think it's very important for the audience to know what the person that's reviewing the foundation likes and dislikes in foundation. So with all of that said, my friend Ivory Cherry reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to collaborate with her on this review, which I thought was perfect because she has an oily skin type. For those of you out there in my audience that has oily skin, you can run over to her channel and see how it worked for her, being that she has an oily skin type versus mine being dry normal. Now, if you guys have never heard of Ivory Terry, she is a sweetheart. She and I have been friends for a while now and I have always really loved her. She has this like fun, quirky personality where she has this like, dry sense of humor about her that I picked up immediately and just fell in love with her sense of humor. She's very quick-witted, very smart, very intelligent, very thorough when she reviews any of her products, especially her foundation reviews. Very, very thorough. And for those of you out there that have more combo, oily, leaning skin type, she will be a great channel for you to check out uh, when it comes to any of the complexion products that are released out on the market. She is a super fun girl, such a blast. I am so excited to introduce her to you guys and I hope you guys love her as much as I do and I think you will, she's pretty incredible. So thank you Ivory for collaborating with me on this video. We are actually a little bit late. We wanted this video to go up quicker but when I first ordered this foundation, I ordered it from the QVC website and it came as a set. So I got the shade 36 neutral and I got this brush with it. Well, 36 neutral was a little bit light for me. Actually, it was a lot. It was like ghostly white on me. Like it kind of like washed me out. Even though I wore it for two days, I could not get a good feel for the foundation because I just hated the shade so much. So in order for me to be thorough, I wanted to get the right shades. So she waited for me to order the new shade, try it out, and so that I could be more thorough. So thank you, Ivory, for your patience. You're amazing. Okay, let's jump into the details about this foundation really fast. There's a lot of claims on this foundation and people seem to be really, really loving this foundation. Many of the claims are that it is non-creasy, non-cakey, medium coverage, uh, featherweight, natural finish, feels like your skin, also has eight types of hyaluronic acid, promotes a uh, better bare skin. It is a water-based formula that applies evenly and effortlessly. It delivers 12 hours of hydration, brightens and smooths, and it also minimizes the looks of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. It has a sweat protect complex that keeps the skin looking fresh and is claiming to be waterproof, sweatproof, and it's also fragrance free. Now, all the claims that I just read, some of those I disagree with, which I will get into all of those in my final thoughts. But again, I have a dry normal skin and I haven't had the best experience with this foundation. It's been kind of a hit and miss and I have kind of tweaked it to really make it work. And I chose the shade 39H, which does match me pretty good. And if you guys are curious to my skin tone, I will leave a list in the description box down below of popular foundations out on the market and what shades I wear in those foundations. So you can kind of use it as a guide. Let's go ahead and jump into the application. I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it. And then of course I will do a six hour daylight check-in take you guys outside, show you guys what it looks like in natural daylight. I will also wear it for 12 hours or longer. At that 12 hour check-in, I will come back and give you my full thoughts on the foundation and what I like and what I dislike. Let's go ahead and jump into the application and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Okay, so let's jump into this foundation review from Tarte. Now, full disclosure, this is not the first time I've worn this foundation. I think I've probably worn it maybe four or five times. So I know how it wears, I know how I feel about it, and I also have discovered a few tips and tricks 
on my preferred way to apply it. So instead of showing you the footage of me applying it for the first time, which I did film that, I figured it might be more helpful for me to show you how I prefer to apply it. The first shade I bought was 36 Neutral and it was too light for me. It was almost ghostly. So I went ahead and ordered the shade 39H, which is medium tan honey. This matches me pretty good. I could probably go a shade darker. Now I will of course swatch these shades next to other shades that I have in my collection and also swatch these alone so you guys can see what the three shades look like that I have. But for this video and for the review, I'm gonna be using the 39H, which is medium tan honey. I have already prepped my skin. I have used the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. For me to make this foundation good, I need to use a hydrating primer. The times that I've worn this with a primer that's not hydrating and just a like a uh, like a blurring primer, it dried my face out so bad. So it's been my experience with this foundation that for me being like dry normal, and I would say right now I'm on the normal side, this kind of dries out by the end of the day. Like it starts to get a little bit too drying where it kind of looks a little crusty in places. So for me, I have to use a hydrating primer with this. Now, I also bought the brush because I bought, when I first bought this, I bought this as a set and I bought it from the QVC website. This brush is awful, you guys. I do not recommend this. It's too scratchy. This is not my favorite brush. I don't recommend it. However, with this foundation, you do get a nice medium coverage. So if you wanna get that good medium coverage, I recommend using a brush like this. I'm actually gonna use this one from Sonia G. This is a jumbo base. This is, this is quickly becoming my favorite brush ever. I would also recommend a brush like this. This is from BK Beauty. Really good brush. It's just kind of short and a little bit more of a dense brush so that you can really pack the coverage without putting too much foundation on. Now with this foundation, especially if you have mature skin or you have a lot of texture, you don't wanna to put too much of this on. It's been my experience that the more I use, the, the grosser it looks by the end of the night. So less is more with this foundation. The other tip I wanna share is for me, I have to work in sections. It seems like this is a pretty quick drying foundation. Now it does come in a nice little squeezy tube, which is really convenient. And what I like to do is give it a good shake. Obviously it is a very liquidy foundation. So you definitely wanna give it a good shake. So I like to put some here on the back of my hand. Just gonna start kind of stippling this into the skin. And you can see the shade does match really well. Like it kind of blends into my natural skin tone really well. Like I said, I don't really have a tan or fake tan on my face. So this is pretty much my natural skin tone and this shade is working really well. So I'm kind of just putting a small, thin, even layer of this all over. Then I'm gonna pick whatever's left on my hand and I'm gonna like push this into my skin before it dries. That's the key. It's like I have to push it into the skin before it starts to set up and dry because it's like once it dries, it's dry. It's like locked and loaded and it's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and it really, for me, it's, it's pretty quick drying so I have to be careful. Um, and again, another tip, not applying too much. For me, I have to be very careful. The times that I have not really enjoyed this foundation is if I've gotten too much. This is a nice medium coverage. And if it was me, if you're, if, okay, so if you have mature skin or you have a lot of texture, I wouldn't use this foundation to build. That's just me. I would use a concealer to conceal anything that you wanna conceal and then put this over top. I haven't had the best experience when it comes to building up coverage. So if you need more coverage than the foundation provides, I recommend putting on a concealer first, but that's just me. So this is pretty much dry and it is pretty much set up. I do need to add just a little bit right here. 
Gosh, this 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 foundation just dries so quickly. Am I the only one that has that experience with this foundation? It's like every time I use it, it just it it dries fast like it wants to dry and set up so quickly for me it's a trickier foundation to use it is um i have to apply it a certain way or it will be a hot mess by the end of the night so as you can see i don't know if it's pulling up on camera I mean, you guys know i like to zoom in and show you but like right here i don't feel like it's blended that well into my skin and it's already dried i'm gonna go ahead and spray my sponge with the morphe setting spray I'm gonna try to use the setting spray to kind of put moisture back into the foundation and uh, kind of push it into the skin. Now, the other thing that I like about this is that you see how much shine I have from doing that versus on this side. So this side is more like a satin matte finish. It's not fully matte, but it's not, it's not dewy either. It's more of a satin kind of dried down type but you can see that that just kind of gave some hydration to the skin. I'm gonna put the setting spray over top of the foundation on this side, and I'm not gonna be powdering with this because it's been my experience, this foundation does not like my powder. Every time I've powdered this, it is awful, so I'm not gonna powder it. I might use a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury powder right here, but I'm not gonna put any translucent setting powder all over. However, what I want you guys to notice, because I'm gonna be doing all my check-ins today, and this is the side that I've kind of used the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray over top, and it kind of gave the skin a little bit of a shine. It gave the skin some moisture. I'm not gonna do it on this side because I wanna show you guys by the end of the night the difference that this makes in the beginning. Sometimes I've noticed with this foundation, by the end of the night, if I don't use the Morphe setting spray over top, it can kind of get crusty and like dry at the end of the night. So by me adding a little bit of moisture on top of it, it really helps the wear throughout the day. Okay, so right now it is 9.34 in the morning. So I wanted to get an early start on this so I could wear it as long as I possibly can. So that's it for the application. I will see you guys in my first check-in. Okay, so I am back for a midday check-in. I just went out on my back porch on my deck and I didn't feel like the lighting was good and so I come out here on my front porch and this is way better lighting. So right now it is currently 5.06. I think I got done applying this foundation, what, at like 10 a.m. or something? So it's been on for about eight hours now. The whole time I've worn this foundation, my biggest issue with this is that it can sometimes look a little bit makeup-y, even if I apply the smallest amount. But let's just go ahead and zoom in. I didn't powder the foundation all over. The only place I have powder is just like right here in this area. I didn't put powder anywhere else. Um, so this is what the forehead is looking like. And then right along here, let's get really close on my texture. <laughs> so this is how it's looking over top of my texture. And then on this side, it doesn't look super bad over texture. The place that I don't like it is right here along my chin. It looks a little bit makeup-y. Like right here in this area, it looks a little bit makeup-y. But everywhere else, it looks pretty good. It looks good around here. It looks good around here. Um, it looks good along the forehead as well. So the whole time I've worn this foundation, right here along my chin is probably the, my least favorite. Uh, it looks decent everywhere else. It's not like my all-time favorite, but I am getting ate alive by wasps. There's like four wasps. There's like four wasps ready to nail my ass. Okay, so anyway, with this foundation, right around my chin is probably the place that has bothered me the most. Um, but like I said, we're, you know, we're on eight hours. This looks pretty good for eight hours. However, I really haven't done anything because I've been filming. I've been filming another video. So from this point forward, I'm going to be doing some housework and cooking dinner and all of that. So I'll get a, probably go on a walk with my husband and my dogs. So I'll probably get more wear and tear on it from this point until the 12 hour check-in. But I will come back and do a 12 hour check-in 
and you know we'll pull you guys in close so you guys can see how it's looking that's it for this check-in we're gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches I'm gonna swatch this foundation next to a bunch of other foundations that I have and then of course we will get into my 12-hour check-in which will be my final thoughts so I will see you guys then Okay, everyone, I am back to give my final thoughts on this foundation. So it is currently 1044 at night. I've had this on for like 13 and a half hours maybe. So it's been a while. I'm ready to take this makeup off. We're gonna pull in close so you guys can see what this foundation looks like. And then I will jump into my thoughts on it. Okay, so, so I just turned down the ring light because the ring light can always make things look better. You can see where it started to kind of fade. Like I've lost some of the coverage through here. It's kind of pulled away from my nose. It's bunched up around here and here. And it started to kind of pull away from the middle of my brows. You can kind of see it starting to separate right here along my forehead, meaning you can kind of see patches of where the foundation is missing. That's pretty much all over my forehead, but right along here, along the texture, actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look bad. And it doesn't look bad along here. Sometimes it gets a little bit patchy, like dry patchy around like my chin and like around my wrinkles and stuff. And that all depends on if I wore a hydrating primer or not. If I don't wear a hydrating primer with this, I feel so dry by the end of the night. So the hydrating primer is the key for me. But what I will say is that I do like how it does blur the pores somewhat. So if you have enlarged pores, I think this is a nice formula for that. It still looks pretty good for being 12 hours. I mean, it does. I've seen foundations look better, and I've definitely seen foundations look much worse than this. So 12 hours later, I'm not complaining about the way this looks. I think this looks pretty good. Let me kind of break down my experience with this foundation. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I feel like this is a great formula for those who have combo leaning oily skin because this has caused me to have dry patches, especially if I'm not wearing a hydrating primer with it. So the key for me is all of the points that I made applying it. So to kind of break it all down, for me, number one, if you have dry normal skin, you need to have a hydrating primer underneath it to kind of give you hydration throughout the day. If you're more dry, I don't know that I would fully recommend this one, but if you wanted to give it a try and it wasn't working out, I would recommend the hydrating primer and then spraying a sponge with some kind of hydrating uh, setting spray and really press that setting spray into the foundation. That will help throughout the day. Uh, number two, not applying too much of it. If you apply too much, it gets thick, cakey, gross. And to me, it almost exaggerates my texture and exaggerates my wrinkles because I'm dry normal. I feel like this foundation is perfect for those who have combo leaning oily skin. I feel like this is kind of the perfect summer foundation for those who do have combo leaning oily. Once I found the ways to kind of tweak it and make it work, I really like it. Will it replace like my favorites foundations that I've been wearing, you know, pretty much all summer long? No, but it is gonna be a part of my daily rotation. I am gonna start playing with it more and more. On a scale from one to five, I think this is like a four and a half out of five. I really do like this foundation. If, if I'm not careful, if I don't apply it right, it doesn't look right. So I can't really give it a full five, but when I do apply it right, I do really like it. But it can get makeup-y, it, it can get cakey, and if you have dry, mature skin, I wouldn't try this one. There's a lot of beautiful foundations on the market that are really beautiful for dry, mature skin, but this one I wouldn't recommend. I feel like this one is just too drying and 
even if you take all the steps that I mentioned, I just don't think it's going to be that beautiful on dry, mature skin. That's just me personally. Now, if you have dry, mature skin and you've tried this, let us know in the comment section down below because I'm very curious to hear how this works for dry, mature skin. Now, I didn't use this when I was in Florida, so I can't speak to how it works in humidity, but I can tell you that the, I think the second or the third day, probably... Mm, might have been the third day that I wore it because we've been, we've had 100 degree temperatures here where I live, which is crazy hot for us. I live in the mountains. We never get 100 degree weather. So it's been crazy hot here in, in northern Utah. And we went on a walk. My husband and I took the dogs on a walk and I was so sweaty by the time I got back. And this held up beautifully. I can say that this works really well on those sweaty hot days. I can say that. I did read on the Sephora website, somebody wrote that they live in the humid climate and it just works beautifully in the humidity, which I can see that. The other thing I also wanna mention is this is not a foundation I can powder. So if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know that once I apply my bronzer and my blush and stuff, I like to kind of take my brush with my translucent setting powder and kind of buff it all together, kind of get rid of all the harsh lines, and just kind of smooth everything out. But for with this foundation, I can't powder it. If I powder it, it's too dry, and that's when I start to feel like it gets really thick in this area and kind of starts to emphasize and get dry patches, and it's not a foundation that I can powder personally. Uh, but overall, I do like it. I'm not like overly in love with it, right? It's not like it's like, like a new revolutionary foundation that I found that I'm just super, super excited about, but I do think it is a pretty foundation. So if it's been something that you've been wanting to try, they do sell this in a mini size, which I do think is nice. Part is always great about giving us options to buy the mini size to see if you wanna try it and like it. And if you do, you can buy the larger size. So but that's it. That's my full review. Send that down below in the comment section. Let us know your thoughts. Definitely head over to my friend Ivory Cherry's channel. I'm excited to see her video. I'm excited to hear her thoughts on this foundation. I know she's worn it for several days. She always wears all of her complexion products for a few days and she's really thorough so I'm very excited to see her review on it so definitely check out her channel I will leave her video in the description box down below thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys all here in my next video love you bye